I'm Wally from Black Dot Energy and this is the technical training maintenance PIMD videos on the David Webster hot water plot. The intent of these videos is to ensure continuous service delivery because WITS rates the delivery of hot water to their students at a very high and critical point. These videos are intended to give you a basic level of identifying where problems are what is fixable within the scope of the, the WITS um, maintenance team to fix that, but also identify when to get a contractor out and what is required, or which contractor is required to fix the problem. This video is specifically regarding the ring main. So in our first video that we did, we did the checks on the system and we identified, is there hot water in the tank? Where to check? Is the pressures correct? So this video is in fact when we do have a hot water system and there's hot water in the tank but there's no hot water in the building the only logical point B is that the ring main system has failed. What is a ring main? A ring main basically is a pipe network that runs throughout the entire building down the shafts and supplies a 24 hour cycle of cycled hot water so that at any point in the building where you open a hot water tap that you've got hot water available immediately. If there's no hot water in the building, the circulation in the ring main has gone down. This is where we then check that. So the main components of the ring main is two ring main pumps, the main controller and the control unit, and then to identify flow, we've introduced also some extra visual gauges that you can do that. So the first way to identify this is on the ring main return line. So these are the two ring main return lines. There's two flow meters. And these flow meters, if you can in fact see these meters turning, it means and it indicates that there's flow. Secondly, there's also temperature gauges. So this temperature gauge shows that the ring main return is above 50 degrees. And that's another visual way to see that once it's gone and cycled throughout the entire building and it comes back to this point that it's in fact hot water. If the ring main has failed, this will be cold and you'll also see that there's no turning through these flow meters. Now let's start with the checking. If that shows that there's no circulation and no temperature, we start by opening this panel. This panel has got four little screws on the outside here. For the purposes of this video, we've taken it out beforehand and this panel just gets removed by pulling it off. So on the inside of this um, uh, panel, we basically see the two ring main pumps. These are very high quality Velo pumps. These two pumps will then measure and, and continue circulating hot water um, throughout the building and again if anything is wrong with the circulation pumps you need to contact the contractor that does or that installed these um, pumps because it is a very specialized Velo pump for hot water but again you'll be able to identify where the problem is. The control panel that we see in here again if it, the main switch needs to be on on you'll see if there's any red buttons that indicates errors and very importantly the switch must be on auto because if it's on manual we override the system and on off there will be no circulation. In summary for the ring main circulation check flow, check temperature, if there's hot water and there's no hot water in the building this is where your failure point will be in terms of the ring main circulation. Thank you for watching this video Again, also watch our other videos that will bring you in a bit of an advanced understanding of at least identifying and understanding the operational um, side of this David Webster hot water systems that's based on solar and gas heating to ensure continuous and fabulous service delivery for our students. Thank you.